buffing. Spray buffing is a very old process that's used to remove dirt from the surface of the floor and to bring up a gloss. Spray buffing incorporates the use of three major products. One would be the chemical spray buff, in this case flashback. Spray buff is basically a solvent that goes onto the floor to loosen up the soil that's embedded in the wax, and a polymer that brings up a shine or some sort of a gloss when we're finished. Then we're gonna need pads for spray buffing. The pads we like to use on a slow speed machine would be a blue or a red pad and a white pad for buffing, so it's a two pad process. Spray buffing can also be used with a burnisher and that, in that case, we're just going to use one good burnishing pad. But let's take a second here and talk about machines and speeds because there's always some confusion as it relates to spray buffing. And I want you to remember something. Spray buffing was invented by a custodian. Basically, he took some turpentine and some floor finish and mixed them together. Now, you and I know we would never mix chemicals. It's not safe. But the idea was that the turpentine would get the dirt off the floor and the wax would bring up a gloss. There's some problems with spray buffing, but it's still used widely throughout the country to bring up a gloss on the floor. Machines and speeds is the important thing to understand. Floor machines that are considered slow speed turn at 175 RPMs. This is a 175 RPM floor machine. Notice that the motor is sitting over the pad. All the weight of that machine rests on the pad. Therefore, you're delivering 85 to 100 pounds of pressure on the floor. Some low-speed machines turn at 375 RPMs. But for the sake of our demonstration, both 175 RPM machines and 375 RPM machines are going to be considered slow-speed machines even though 375 RPMs is faster than a 175. These traditionally are what spray buff is used with. In order to spray buff the floor, I'm going to use a 175 or a 375 RPM machine. Machines that begin to turn higher speeds, about 1,000 RPMs, 1,500 RPMs, or 2,000 RPMs, or even 3,000 RPMs are considered ultra high speed machines. And the word for those is burnishers. Burnishers. Burnishers, like this cord electric model right here, turn very high speeds with soft pads. The motor of the burnisher is offset the pad because you don't want all the weight of the machine on the floor. You just want to turn the pad very high speed to bring a gloss up on the floor. Here is the thing you need to understand about spray buffing. When used in a low speed system with 175 or 375 RPM machines and a red and a white pad that we'll show you in a second, you're using the machine to remove dirt from the floor. We don't recommend using the machine to remove dirt off the floor, but it's still done. So that's what spray buff is traditionally used for. With a burnisher, you must remove the soil some other way. So you can't use the burnisher to get dirt off the floor. It will ruin the machine, it will ruin the floor, it will lead to yellowing. We never use a burnisher. That's a machine that's turning a thousand or more RPMs. We never use that machine to remove dirt from the floor. I'm ready to spray buff the floor. I want to show you up close about how much spray buff I'll need for probably 10 square feet. And we only need a little spritz on the floor. So that's about all we need on the floor to get started here. I have my, my slow speed machine ready to go. I have a red pad on that machine because I'm going to use this to remove dirt. So I put a little spritz of spray buff on the floor. Turn the machine on. Now the most effective way to spray buff is to go across one section of tile twice. Move back, go across one section of tile twice, move back, go across one section of tile twice, move back, across one section of tile again. Gonna add a little more spray buff. and back. Notice, I'm controlling the area that I'm working. I'm only making two 
two passes with the machine, and I'm working backwards. The machine is delivering pad pressure to the floor, and the spray buff material is removing the dirt and hopefully putting it into the pad. This is my cleaning step. Slow speed spray buffing at 175 or 375 RPMs is a two-step process. This is the cleaning step. Here's the red cleaning pad that we used for the first step of slow speed spray buffing. The soil and debris that gets caught in the pad can be rinsed out with hot water and the pad can be used again. If you intend to use the pad again, you should rinse it out immediately and let it hang up to dry. If you allow the debris and the spray buff to dry in the pad, you'll never get it out. I've switched from my red pad to my white pad now, and now I'm going to bring a satin-like finish, a satin-like gloss, up on the floor. So again, slow speed spray buffing is a two-pad system. A red pad to remove the dirt, and a white pad to bring up some sort of a mild gloss. I'm going to use the same pattern I used in the red pad to go back over the area with my white pad. Two passes per section. I'd like to take the time to note here that while this is doing a fairly good job of cleaning and bringing a satin gloss up on the floor, it is labor intensive and slow. There are faster systems. Spray buffing is still used a lot in the United States because almost everybody involved in floor care has a slow speed floor buffer. However, it is not a very productive way of maintaining large areas of hard floor. And those are the results you can expect with slow speed spray buffing.